municipalities, when airports were downloaded from the federal government, really had no experience with airports. You know, we really were sort of this odd entity that now they owned and needed somebody to run for them. So really the big changes, I think, all of a sudden the airport was recognized as being um, a, a big space, an economic space, um, and uh, the city really has sort of come to the uh, realization that there's a lot of infrastructure here as well. So the biggest changes for us in operation is we really have seen um, much greater emphasis on improving facility, improving pavement, improving uh, lighting features here, even improving uh, the, the air terminal, um, you know, and facilities for passengers. We've changed a lot of the amenities. We've increased the departure lounge from 2,000 square feet to 10,000 square feet. We've added new ticket counters. We've added temporary waiting areas in the parking and renovated our parking areas as well. We've put in a number of IT improvements, including the real-time flight data so that passengers and as well as those picking up passengers can know when flights are arriving. And so the addition of all these different amenities has really helped make the passenger experience a lot better. And the customer loves the fact that uh, security screening is open all the time, so when the customer comes, they don't have to wait out in the hallway. They can actually go inside security and uh, use the business center. Yeah, the cafe is inside as well too, so that way it also allows the customer to go inside security and then therefore they can have a drink or whatever, but um, they're inside and then they're ready for boarding. In the departure lounge, we have what's called the plug and play area. So it's, um, it's an area where people can plug their computers in and uh, instead of sitting in corners and uh, wrapping themselves around columns to get to plugs, we've made it really convenient for them to uh, plug in and uh, certainly for the time that they're here. Very positive changes in the last three, four years when the city of Windsor took over the airport directly. Um, we're very pleased to see WestJet come to the airport on a seasonal basis. We're also pleased that uh, Porter Airlines is flying here with three daily flights uh, per, a day and uh, going to Toronto City Centre and connecting out of City Centre on their domestic and international routes. We're also pleased that just over there we have Premier Aviation that's uh, now at the airport and that's a catalyst for many other things that could happen at the airport in the future. We're also pleased that Sunwing also is flying here uh, winter charters. They've been doing that for quite a while. And from Windsor Airport to the beaches of Cuba in under five hours is a pretty good deal. And Air Canada Jazz, they're doing their connecting flights out of Toronto Pearson for anywhere out of the world. So uh, they're doing four or five flights a day. So we're very pleased with that. We've seen growth upwards of 140% in the last uh, four years. So the growth has been phenomenal. Just in this year alone, we'll see 20% increase in the number of passengers. We'll end up serving about 230,000 passengers this year, which will be the highest that we've had uh, in the past decade. We recently attended some travel shows in the local in the city and discovered that a number of passengers or a number of potential passengers had not been to the airport for over 20, 30 years. And uh, in fact, uh, it was refreshing for us to be able to tell them about the changes that are going on at the Windsor Airport and hope to encourage them to come and use the airport next time.